Hi, another quick tutorial. Um, this one's how to drive high current load uh, using a uh, well, N channel MOSFET uh, using a Christmas tree from, well, obviously Christmas. I've stuck a, a 30 volt high power LED on it. Uh, the white LED is driven off a 30 volt power supply and an uh, N channel MOSFET. The PIC microcontroller is driven off. Uh, just a 5 volt supply, actually it's 4.7 off my USB um, so I'll let you watch the lights for a while I was going to give you a quick introduction to binary weights as well uh, the ports like you know, RB0-7 to are actually weighted with um, sort of decimal numbers so I was going to give you a quick introduction to them um, it will save you on programming code and that sort of thing right let me turn the lights on So it's a 30 volt, uh, 10 watt LED. So the beauty with effect is it doesn't um, drop much voltage, um, so it doesn't get very hot. Yeah, unlike some transistors, it uh, turns on and off quickly. Hopefully you get the idea with that. It's very bright. What well, a voltage up to about 29 volts. You can see how bright it is. So that's a 30 volt LED, and the the, the blue LED is just sort of uh, I think just over 3 volt. Right, so that's the tree, Christmas tree. There's the in general fact, just happened to have, be one I had laying around. Uh, this one's, um, actually I'm not sure, it doesn't matter. It's an N-channel MOSFET. Uh, right, quickly, you'll want to know how to wire it up. So I'll get the uh, wire diagram for you. Right, get all of this on the screen. Well, it's a lot of the Christmas tree, or if you're doing night rider lights, something like that. There's the uh, eight LEDs for conventional night rider scanner, Larson scanner, I believe it's called as well. Right, hopefully, you've got all that in view and it's in focus. Turn the light on. Well, there's your eight LEDs. I've got a, like a 220 to 330 amp resistor driving each LED. Uh, master clear to 5 volts. There's the first eight LEDs, 0 to 7, so including 0 that's 8 ground. Uh, ceramic resonator, centre pin to ground, or 4 meg crystal with two caps to ground. I'm burning myself on a soldering iron here. Right, this is the important bit. If you want to drive a high current load, get this into view. Uh, a 12 volt or 24 volt or 30 volt supply DC, it doesn't matter what. Uh, this is my 30 volt LED, so I've got a 30 volts coming in here. 30 volt LED running down. Have you got that in there? Uh, into the drain. Uh, nearly 5 volts out coming out of the um, microcontroller. Doesn't matter what pin, any pin. Uh, running to the gate. You don't need a current limiting resistor because FETs are like voltage controlled. Uh, yeah, they draw sort of probably less than a million microamps here. Uh, and then the source is connected to ground. So you can say that the, the voltage drains into the FET and then uh, out to ground. That's how to wire up the FET N channel. That's an N channel MOSFET. This particular FET I'm using has got the diode there it's for like, switch mode power supplies, that sort of stuff. Um, right, very quickly, moving over to the binary weights. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, so RB0 has got a weight of 1, uh, decimal 1. RB1 has got 2, and counting up the pins, it's got 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, and 128. So if you wanted to turn on sort of pin 7, you could either go uh, high in microcode studio and pick basic pro, you could say you know, high uh, port B uh, pin 7 
or you could go uh, port B pin 7 equals 128. Uh, if you want the other you know, RB6 on, you could go uh, yeah, uh, port B uh, dot 6 equals 64, that turns that on. If you want them all on, you just add all these numbers up, it actually adds up to 255. That's where all the bit numbers and binary weights come from. Just give you a basic introduction. Um, uh, another introduction, not sure if you caught it in the other video. This is actually the program running the Christmas tree. Uh, if you want to give something an alias, so rather than yeah, refer to a specific port, you can, yeah, so like for example, LED1, I've got set as a variable port B0. So every time I'm referring to LED1, it's referring to port B0. So that's what's known as an alias. I'm calling uh, various different ports, I'm, I'm assigning a name to it. Um, so you can go, like for example, port B1, uh, port B equals 1. So going back to the binary weights, I'm telling port B is equal to 1. So there's 1 over here, so I'm only turning on the first pin, nothing else. Uh, port B2, so I'm, I'm turning on the second pin, turning on the third pin, turning on the fourth, fourth pin. Now doing this instead of high, uh, like high pin 1, uh, sorry, high pin 0, and high pin 1 and low pin 0 to get a chaser, this saves you program memory. By using this method, uh, the, uh, I, I saved uh, 49 words of programming. So was, uh, with these little PF uh, PIX 16F627s, I was able to save see, 49 words.